Greetings from First United Methodist Church. Welcome to our children's message for this week. This coming Sunday is Pentecost. Pentecost is the time during a Jewish festival that God sent the Holy Spirit to the early church. This week's message is from John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. My name is Anne. Thanks for joining me today. This children's message was written by Lois Parker Edstrom and can be found on the SermonWriter.com website. Today, let us think about rivers and how important they are for all kinds of life. I do not have a river to show you today, but I do have some water here with me that I will pour. And as I talk, Imagine a river in your mind and all the wildlife found there. Fish may be the first thing that comes to mind. We could not come close to counting or naming all the many types of fish that are in the river all over the world. Perhaps you have gone fishing in a river you know, and you know how beautiful a river can be, and you know that fish caught from the river are a good source of food for humans. Eagles and other types of birds also go to the river to catch fish, which they eat and feed to their young. Many types of animals go to the river to drink. Can you think of a few? How about elephants and cheetahs and zebras, lions and deer? Some animals actually live in rivers. Think of the crocodiles, otters, and crayfish. Beavers build their dams across a river or stream, and raccoons use the river's water to wash their food before they eat it. A river also allows crops to grow. Farmers run water from the river through irrigation ditches and into the fields where they sprinkle the water on their crops. We all benefit from that. In the Bible, Jesus said, He who believes in me as the scripture has said, from within him will flow rivers of living water. That is written in verse 38 of the Bible passage. Isn't that a beautiful idea? Jesus suggests that we could be like a river and give others what they need to have to have a good life. When we believe in God, we receive the Holy Spirit. His Spirit lives in us and provides us with love that flows from us to others. God's love flows from our hearts like a river of living water. We all benefit from that. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for sending down the Holy Spirit to be with us, to comfort us, and to help us to show love to others so that they may begin a life with you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you want to dig a little deeper, deeper into the scripture passage, pick up your Bible and read John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. Be comforted by the words written there. Talk to God about what you have read and listen to his response. Look for our children's message up on the Griffith First United Methodist Church Facebook page every Wednesday. Join us too in Facebook or in person on Sunday mornings at our worship service at 11.15 a.m. Central Time. Our church address is up on the Facebook page. Blessings to you and your family. Thanks for joining me again.